All right, guys. I've just got back to the workshop, and all those scrap cars are gone. So we've got a big, um, a big space to fill up with more cars. But yeah, no, we've got plenty to start processing, as you can see, and, and go through them again. All right, here we go. Now, sat down to edit. Um, I've got some old video there of towing stuff. You said you wanted to see a bit of towing stuff, a bit of barn find stuff. The audio is terrible, okay? It's not windy or anything, it's just very, very low audio. It was with an old camera I had when I first started thinking about doing this. I haven't put it up, but it's got some cool cars and it was a, wasn't a bad sort of day. So, sorry about the audio. Um, turn your volume up a little bit. Realistically, who wants to listen to me talk anyway? So, all right, we'll get stuck into that video now, okay? And yeah, let me know what you reckon. They're pretty cool old cars. Okay, so the light's not the best in here, but you can see she is a fairly tidy old Mark II. Okay, and this is the little Austin Healey Sprite. I have heard stories of these from my father as a young bloke. Apparently he had one that was pretty quick. But they've been in here for a long, long time. But they are all there, and a bit of gear in that one. We'll have to make sure that's all tied down. Look at the front of that Jag, eh? You've got to love them. And the Jag's actually a manual from memory when I was out here last time. Yeah, she is too. So a big six cylinder manual. Beautiful dash. She's actually in quite good shape, this thing. The trim's been redone at some stage. But yeah, we all know I'm gonna try and buy it, don't we? All right, well, I'll get this um, car hooked up and we'll drag these out. We'll get them loaded up. Twos, they run your, um, the big sixes still. But they're a, a smaller, they're not a 4.2, these I think, I think they're a 3.8. The car I've been looking for is a Mark II, but a Daimler with a V8. They look like they've got a Hemi in them, a 2.5 litre V8. But yeah, this still runs twin carbs and still is a very tidy car. But um, not exactly what I'm looking for, but sometimes in this late 60s stuff, you've got to, um, you know, get what you're given. Um, I'd still love to have something like this, but these are going up in value a lot. But you never know, she might do me a deal. Um, but anyway, get her loaded up now and we will get down to Brisbane. Sprite though, you just don't see a lot of them around. I think, I think that they're fiberglass, I honestly couldn't tell you down below in the comments. Perhaps someone that knows a bit about it could educate the rest of us. But for me, that there looks like an overflow tank of a Jag, small four cylinder. Look at the front end, like it's just very lightweight these no wonder they were so quick back in the day with looks like fabricated um wishbones and yeah but the way the brake system works it runs the same cable um windscreen wipers as a jag from the looks of it um yeah she's a very cool little thing really small SUs like they're absolutely tiny but um yeah anyway yeah it's just a, another cool one of interest um my, I do tow a lot of normal Commodores and Falcons and just your normal broken down four-wheel drives, but at times some of the jobs are cool, and those ones I'll share with you guys. But yeah, if anyone can, has anyone's owned any of these, or maybe even if you've got a picture of your old one, put in the comments down below. That'd be pretty cool to see what you've had, and yeah. But as always, make sure you comment down below where you're from, because I want to see how far these videos reach. Is it just Australia? Are you overseas? Anyway, let's get this one loaded up so we can go and have time to go see Andrew today, because um, yeah, he does have a pretty cool split screen combi, so right yeah, let's get a loader.
stuff that'd be great. Right, hey. So that's them loaded up. Um, I can't really show you where they're going because people obviously don't want to sit me to tell people where their cars are going. But um, I'll get them down there and we'll go visit Andrew. Right, hey. Okay, so stop to do a bit of a walk around as you do, as you drive a truck. So we'll just have a quick walk around, see how they're going. Just check all your straps and see how everything's sitting. Everything seems to be okay. Check your tyres. Make sure nothing's rubbing. I pulled in for a breatho just before. Just, yeah, I think it was more that the copper wanted to have a look at the cars more than anything, but, um, yeah. All right, she all looks pretty sweet. I've got about half an hour to go. And, um, yeah, but what a lovely thing it is to look in the mirror and see these old girls. Anyway, half an hour to unload and we'll um, talk to Andrew before. He's expecting us, so we'll go have a look. Made it down to Andrew's. Um, yeah, so we'll have a bit of a tour of his um, vehicles he's collected. I didn't realise he's got a nice little Daihatsu scat down here as well, so we'll have a bit of walk around that as well. And we'll get Andrew to give us a um, bit of a spiel on where he found some of them. But anyway, we'll have a bit of a tour on what they look like. And right oh, so 63 split screen ute. I do prefer these utes more than I do the... Um, the actual buses but she's a pretty cool old rig it's not actually rusted out she's a bit like that HR that I've got that just a bit of a survivor car he has cleaned her up along the back a little bit but um he's got his little mini bike he does collect a lot of weird and wonderful stuff the old Andrew I think he's had the front seat recovered she's just a sweet old girl like, yeah bloody slow though yeah Whoop. there we go yeah and he's got Scat. He said he picked this one off off a farmer out west. She's really clean though. It doesn't look like it's done a whole lot of work, that's for sure. Yeah. It's been sitting in the shed and... What do you reckon? We'll go and check out his, um, his little mini moke. He paid a fortune for this moke. I had one years ago. There we go. What a mad old combi. Yeah, little California mini moke. These things have skyrocketed in price, unbelievably. I never thought they would get to the money that they're at now. He paid, I think it was 10 or 15 grand or something for this thing. It is pretty tidy though and quite an original thing. But they're just so expensive now. It is unbelievable. Yeah. But they are a cool little car. They actually drive quite well too. The normal mini motors in them, so you can get them hooking. But yeah. All right, we'll go have a chat with Andrew and... Yeah, get him to tell us about his van. When he got her, the motor was seized up. But he's um, definitely giving her a tidy up, that's for sure. But it's just good, you can just see it's just not rusty around all the normal spots on the tailgate doors and on the bottoms. and Yeah, it's just nice with that canopy. Alright, this is Andrew. We've been mates for a long time. Been um, buying and selling a lot of cars together over the years. But he, Where did you get this one from, buddy? Oh, I just found it up the road here, just local, uh, it was a deceased estate. Andrew loves his deceased estates. Yeah, it's been sitting around for 25 years under a tarp, parked on some corrugated iron. The corrugated iron probably saved it a lot down the bottom, eh? Yeah, um, it was painted, I rubbed it back to its original paint. Okay, so what colour was it when you got it, the green? Uh, or? that. Oh, so that it, had been, it had been covered over with that. And then the stripe was this colour. Okay, and then you you made the effort to rub her whole back yeah, and you, yeah. Keep that patina effect. Yep. Nah, she looks sweet, eh? It just looks good. And the motor was all seized up, wasn't it? Yeah, motor was in the tray. Oh, so it wasn't even in the van. No. It was just parked yeah. up. Oh yeah, sweet. She's yeah. just back to stock though, isn't it? Or just? Nah, it's got a uh, 1675 turkey in it. Yep. Cammed and sweet and that sort of stuff. New yeah. brakes, all new gearbox, rebuilt gearbox. Love wasting money, don't you? Can you actually read this old rego label, or is it no. too far gone to see when she was last on the road? No, nah, but she's definitely a um, beautiful old girl, eh? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's... Fire it up for you. yeah, right.
not too bad from cold. Or stainless dump pipe. Real good in the floor. It looks like it had a repair on the other side at some stage. But yeah. All right, guys, what do you reckon about that? You just did ask for a bit of towing video, okay? So, yeah, that's sort of what I do day in, day out. Um, yeah, so, all right, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Um, let me know what you reckon, okay? Because we are at a point where the channel can go in whatever direction you guys really want. The support's been awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm keen to make it a community thing. Let's make it what, what you guys want to see. Seems to be working so far. Everyone seems to be happy. The live feed went really well. And, um, yeah. The subscriber support has been absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys. See you.